Hello everyone, welcome to Pratibha Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of the day question on Geeks for Geeks for 10th February 2023. The problem statement for today says balloon everywhere. This is based on map and data structures. So let's open the problem. First, we will go through the problem statement clearly. Problem statement says Bob is very fond of balloons. Once he visited an amusement park with his mother. The mother told Bob that she would buy him a balloon if he answers her problem right. She gave Bob a string S that contains only lower case characters okay, and asked him to use the characters of the string to form as many instances of word, word balloon as possible. Return the maximum number of instances that can be formed. Help Bob to solve the problem okay so here uh, the problem statement says that bob's mother is giving a string that consists of only lower case character to bob and she is asking that how many um, how many instances of word balloon that can be formed out of that particular string that uh, she has given to uh, her son so let's go through the example here first so here um, in the first example it, it is said that the string that which contains this character this has been given to Bob and here it is said that output is one so if we look at all the occurrence of all the characters in this one then we can see B is occurring one time A is again there one time L is twice and O is also twice and N, N is one so we have got all the characters that is required to form a word balloon so uh, and uh, if we see this thing then uh, here we can see that only out of these characters uh, the occurrences are such in in such a way that only one one word of the one instance of word balloon can be formed so that's why the output is here one if we go to the second example then in in this one it says the output is two because in this one we can see there are two instances of all the characters that means um, the number of characters needed to form two instances of word balloon that are present b is present twice a is twice l is four times o is four times and n is twice if you look at the word balloon then word balloon contains two l and uh, uh, two o also that means double l and double o so that's why for l and o we require double the instances of um, the character than the others so uh, Okay, so let's try solving this problem. So here um, what we will do, we will iterate through each of the characters given in the um, string. Then we will try forming a map. Map would consist of only those characters. Those are there in the word balloon and we will count the number of occurrences of each characters. Then we can uh, find that how many instances of the um, word balloon that can be formed out of those count only. And here uh, since we have got that logic that balloon contains uh, that double L and double O. So whatever the count uh, you know, we will get for L and O, we have to divide it, it by two so that those many instances uh, of those characters that will be required to form uh, one word of balloon. Suppose we have a two L there. So using two L, we can form only one word of balloon. So keeping this only in mind, let's start the problem. Uh, let's start coding for this one. So here first we will start with creating a map, map of character and integer. We'll give this name as map is equal to new hash map. Now we can directly start with our for loop saying the int i is equal to 0 it will go up to length of the word length of the word and we can increment the iteration iterator variable by 1 for each iteration okay so now first one here we will look at we will extract each character from the string 
using caret function so we will use s dot caret at index i and we will first check if this character is among those letters which we are interested in that is is it b or or is it a or is it l or is it o or is it n so um here we are interested in all the letters that occur in the word balloon so it is b a a l o n so once we get this one then what we can do we can check in that in this map if map already contains that particular character that map dot contains key of the that particular character if the map already contains that character so what we can do we can simply increment the count of that uh, particular character and store it back in the map so we can do map dot put ch dot yeah that this is the key of that character and value will be map dot get ch whatever is the current value that we will get and to this we will add one so suppose if you are getting any character of this for a second time so first it will fetch it will check yes this this character is already present and against that the count will be one so next time we um, so we are storing it back um, that particular character by incrementing the value so the initially value was one so it, it will become two for a second um, occurrence but if this is not the case that means if we are encountering that particular character for the first time so we can simply put map dot put that particular character and just put one that this is the first occurrence so okay so this is then up to here then after that what we can do we can um, see uh, till this point we have count uh, all the instances of these five characters in that particular string then uh, the number of occurrences of each each of these five characters in the string and we have stored in the map so now um, for l and o we have to update the count so that we can uh, get the minimum um, number of words that can be formed so you can say map dot get we'll only do it for l if it is not equal to null that means if this is present in the map then what we can do we can write it back by updating the latest value here it will be l comma then map dot get map dot get of l and this we will divide by 2 same thing we will do it for o as well because in balloon l and o are occurring twice so now let's change it l to o l to o see we are only um, taking care of all these uh, small case variables because in question it is given the only small case characters will be provided in o so what we have done is now whatever count we have got we will divide it by 2 so if we if we take over this this example so if we divide the count um, the occurrence of l that is 2 by 2 and o by 2 then it will we will get 1 so now all the instances that means for all the variables it will be 1 so uh, it will says that um, whatever is the minimum value of all the occurrences of the um, those particular characters so that many words that many instances of the word balloon can be formed so that's that is the reason we are dividing it by 2 so now we have updated the value now we have the simple thing he here to, to do we need to first uh, we need to extract the all the values in the map 
and find what is the what is the least one so that only we will do it here map dot values just will extract this one and i'll store it in the collection of integer type integer type and let's give it a name called count list count collection count <coughs> <coughs> sorry a count list or count character anything any variable name so this one by using this way we will get all those uh, counts from this map that means all those value map can, can consist of key and value so we will get all the values just the values in this one so now we will simply count now we will first uh, we will simply extract what is the minimum value in this one so those many instances of the word balloon can be formed so for this i am using java 8 function stream then i am finding minimum of integer type the data is of integer type and we are saying just compare compare integer compare and since this is this will give a type of uh, an object of type optional so we will just do get so count list dot stream of minimum of integer we will use the compare method to this this is the method reference way of comparing thing we are calling a particular method of any class using java 8 and this will return the um, optional type object so we will just do get and this only we will return okay so <coughs> so um, i think we are pretty well done with the coding so let's try compiling and running the code okay i missed the it's actually a get function here okay okay so here we can see we have got uh, the output as one which is the expected one so saying that this input with this input we can form only one word of word balloon one instance of word balloon so let's try submitting the solution so here we can see we have got all the test cases cleared we have uh, solved this problem successfully yeah okay so yeah so that's all in this video please like share and comment on this video and please subscribe to the channel for more such upcoming videos thank you for watching